All right, in order to sew without pins, first of all, you're sewing with a narrow seam. And you don't start at the very end of the fabric. You move the fabric one fourth of an inch in. And then put the presser foot down and sink the needle down into the fabric. Now, you're going to put your machine in reverse and then go forward. Now you're ready to position your hands. You're going to take the length of your fabric and make sure that the ends are dead even. And once you have them even along the entire strip, now you're going to position your hands 8 to 10 inches in front of the needle. The positioning of the hands is this. First of all, you've made these even. The objective is sewing without pins is that when you have a finished seam, they will be the same length and one will not be longer than the other. And what's preventing one from being longer than the other is the correct hand position when you're doing this. Again, it's important that you're sewing one quarter inch seams. So you're going to take your right hand and you're putting your thumb under the fabric and your fingers on top. And you have to do this right in front of the end of the bed of the machine. If we had a longer bed, it'd be much better. It's difficult with short beds, but it's still very doable. Take your left hand, place it towards the cut edge, and you're holding your right hand in the thumb under, fingers on top position, and your left hand with your fingers towards the front cut edge, and you sew. Quarter inch seam. Reposition by again maintaining equal matched edges. Sew forward. So because the bed is so short, it makes it a little a lot more stopping, but it still is going to allow you to do this. So you're putting tension on this machine on the fabric when you're doing this. And you're always making sure that they're still even at the opposite end. Thumb under, fingers on top, in front of the bed, left hand, fingers towards the cut edge, and sew forward. And you can see I move my fingers out of the way as I sew this. Okay, so each time you need to reposition and continue to double check and make sure that the end of the seam is even. Your thumb under, your fingers are on top, and your left fingers are towards the cut edge and you sew forward. Thumb under, fingers on top, left in front. Same thing. Just continue this process. When you get to the end of the, the seam, take your scissors, cut your thread, and your seams are dead even. And you did not sew that with pins. And you have a beautiful quarter inch seam.